All right, so we're playing Moon, but every single round, something's going to change. First one is when a zombie dies to a grenade, orientation is slightly changed. Okay, so basically when we kill a zombie with a grenade, it will just like shift the way we're looking off to the side for a second. So it's no biggie. Now, Jug is actually in the spawn. If we could somehow manage to get Jug immediately, that would be nice. It's going to be risky though. Oh my God, it just turned me around. What was that? Oh shit. Oh Jesus. I think we can almost get it. Jesus, we're so close. Ah, fuck. Don't get stuck here. Okay, we're fine. Well, we can actually afford Jug immediately off the bat. Wow, very good. Good start to Moon. If we could just not go down. Now we have to actually escape, though. Oh, shit. Take me now. It's fine. Absolutely nothing happened there. We've got Jug in the spawn again. When a player reloads, a random player drops a grenade. Oh, boy. I mean, that's actually kind of going to be a little bit useful then for when we uh, go towards Jug, I suppose. Oh, hello. Slowly getting more and more points. Come on. We're so close, actually. Oh, a dog. I see you. Hello. We need literally eight points. There we go. Boom. Give me Jug. And just get the fuck out. Oh, God. Hello. Oh, we did it. Wow. See, nothing happened at all. Oh, God. A grenade. Ugh. Don't... <laughs> That's not good. When a zombie spawns, gain 100 points. Okay, again. So yeah, every single round we get one of the cause and effect thingies. I've turned effect stacking off. There is no effect stacking, no illegal combos. It's just going to be standard gameplay. So yeah, let's just see how it goes, I suppose. Oh, and we got a nuke. Well, I mean, we got a bunch of points from them spawning in anyway, so I guess it's not the worst, is it? So when a player gets a headshot, active gun loses a bullet, loses a bullet. Ah, interesting spelling there. Let's get our quick revive. Go for some knives. Oh yeah, I think I heard the uh, the bloody space astronaut dude spawning. Yep, there he is. Garcia, how's it going, bro? Yeah, it's nice. Starting off moon with Jug is just huge. Oh, and we get a double points at the end of the round. The FPS Tycho Classic, of course. It happens in every fucking map. When a player loses 300 plus points, perks will randomize their locations. Okay, so when I buy this door, you're telling me that this quick revive is going to move somewhere else. <laughs> oh, hello, Widow's Wine. How's it going? Widows in the spawn, not bad. Does this affect the uh, the perks in the Area 51 area, though? That would be interesting. Because obviously, like, it's usually speed cola or jug, right? Oh, and I'm out of ammo. Oh, shit. Guess we'll just go down here. Please don't be a zombie here. Okay, good. Get the RK-5. Good old reliable, of course. Oh, yeah, I don't have the sight on for this, uh, this particular one. Interesting. Go away, astronaut. Max ammo, of course. Right after I buy a gun. Oh, hello, mule kick. What's up, dude? <laughs> just so funny just seeing them randomly change like that. Ah, here we go. The last few. What's up, dudes? And you must be the very last one. Knife boom done. When a zombie dies, all zombies gain 10% of their max health. A little terrifying, but it's fine. Uh, let's just go and open some more doors, I guess. Oh, hello. Zombie spawning in the fucking roof. That was like the worst part of that Shangri-La challenge because, dear God, Shangri-La with the zombies spawning in the roof, like we just drop down on your head and completely destroy you. Not the best, but it's fine. We'll just use this death machine until it runs out and then we will use that insta-kill. Moon is creepy, man. The fact that there's no game audio just makes it extremely spooky because game audio is really everything in zombies. If you just get snuck up on, one zombie can be the difference between you fucking completely dying and getting like around 100. Oh, and of course, another double points right at the end, probably. Where the hell are the zombies at, dude? Oh, hello. You're the last one, aren't you? 100%. Yep, knew it. <laughs> oh, when a player reloads, gain 100 points. Okay. Don't mind if I do, bro. Uh, box is not here, but we can turn on the power, which is good. And we got a nuke. Not bad, I suppose. Now, people have actually asked, am I going to plan on doing Easter eggs with cause and effect? And I absolutely am. It's just I, the first time around playing these maps with these mods, I want to sort of do it a more standard gameplay, I guess. And then Easter eggs will do for a separate video. You know, it just means more content, you know, at the end of the day. Oh, hello. Quick revive just randomly being here. When a power-up spawns, a zombie spawns. That's not too bad. We can only get six power-ups per round anyway, so... Oh, hello, Jug. Just randomly... It does! It affects the fucking Area 51 uh, perks. That's so cool, dude. Oh, we got the bloody Nova Crawlers. Go away. These ones teleport as well. It's just the worst. But here is the box. Double... <gasps> Double tap is right here. Oh, my God. That's massive, dude. Fucking go away with your teleporting bastardness. Um, we're going to have to actually buy the KM44 here because we don't have a gun. I would just get that box, but kind of got stuck on that side for a second. What did we get? We got a Famous. Not bad. 
or the FFAR, sorry. So yeah, these are the permanent perk locations now, I guess, which is not bad at all. Unless we get that uh, cause and effect one again, like that particular one, I moved all of them. Yo, that's very neat. When a zombie spawns, a random zombie teleports near a player. Oh, good God. Well, that's kind of terrifying then, isn't it? It's what? So every time a zombie spawns, I'm just going to get one right next to me. Oh, God. Yes, I saw that. What the fuck? What's going on, dude? No. I can't even shoot them. They just teleport away. I remember when this happened on Kino, but it was like completely game breaking. Holy shit, dude. Getting jump scared by random teleporting zombies. Oh, death machine. That's huge, actually. We can actually kill them quicker. Oh, max ammo. Don't mind if I bloody well do. I'm not going to bother with excavators unless it's like, you know, all three of them. It's no biggie, dude. What, what's the worst that could happen? That's the main annoyance with Moon. I mean, I think personally, Zombies Chronicles really fixed Moon. Because of like gobble gums and stuff, ways to alleviate RNG from the Easter egg and everything. Definitely fixed it. Oh my god, we got the zap guns. Dude, it just couldn't get any better, could it? Easy peasy. I wasn't expecting to get them that fucking fast. When a player slides, wall buys are randomized. All right, KN's gone now. What is it? Still the KN? I've been lied to. That's so cool though. I, I fucking love the zap guns. They're awesome. What is it again? Oh, it's four to turn it into the uh, the wave gun, which is literally just statistically the, the thunder gun. But it's so much cooler because like, look at this shit. They fucking, they get all like red eyes. They inflate like a microwave and then they explode. Like, it's fucking gross. Don't get me wrong, but it's cool as hell. Let's get rid of this fucking, uh, this guy. Go away, dude. I infinitely prefer the astronaut to like the napalms and the shit from Shangri-La, so. But then again, I was playing that map without Jug for that challenge, so. When a player takes damage, random zombie triggers an AAT. So if you don't know what AAT is, basically it is just like dead wire blast furnace. A double packet punch, basically. Looks like the biodome is going to be excavated. I don't actually care about the biodome at all because we're not going to be training there. This is my favorite place to train, typically. It's just if we get both the tunnels, then I'll be a little bit annoyed. And then we'll actually go and get the hacker and deal with that shit. FFAR is very solid though. One of the best guns to be added to BO3 for sure. I'm going to spin though. Just, you know, why not? Let's see if we can get something uh, equally as cool in M16. Not really. M16 in BO3 was done dirty. Like it was really bad. Also, yeah, I just saw that dead wire. When a player takes damage, so what? They slap me? <laughs> get dead wired, bro. Another one. Slap. <laughs> he, just, <laughs> he just killed himself. Damn. Unlucky, bro. Zap. Oh, and you? Nope, not gonna work. Oh, because there's a, a little bit of a cooldown. <laughs> you just outplayed yourself, buddy. When a player slides, get a gun gets a random camo. Does it work for this? <gasps> it works for the FFAR! Wait, what the fuck? That's so cool. Oh, that's neat, dude. Look, we got the fucking the COD World Championship gun. What if we can get a really cool one? Oh, yeah, there we go. The Shadows of Evil Packet Punch camo. That's neat. See, ones like that I really like. They're cool. I've just got this, like, purple camo. Okay. Purple chromatic camo. i got to be careful I don't go down, though. Just constantly fucking sliding. Wait, does it work on the zap guns? I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Oh, we connection interrupted! No! It fucking broke the game, dude. Are you serious? Okay, so don't slide with the zap guns, apparently. My bad, dude. And then the game just fucking crashes. Dude. Okay, bro. Okay. <laughs> Oh, what's that? You thought the video was over? Hell no, dude. We're back on cause and effect. We've turned on illegal combos, though. When a power-up spawns, give a random gobble gum. I mean, I, that's not bad, but when we actually leave this room, we're going to end up losing uh, whatever it is we have, which isn't ideal. Oh, God, we've got a dog spawning. What's up, dude? Oh, and here come the fucking zombos. Me trying to get Jug again. Going to end up fucking going down, probably. Oh, we have enough for it. Let's go. Let's just bring all the zombies away. Maybe we can actually, like... Still get on the pad if they're all just gone. Yeah, here we go. Boom, easy peasy. Not a problem. Throw some grenades. Not going to make much of a difference, I don't think. When a player slides, ability to slide will toggle. Okay, so if you don't know what illegal combos are, it's stuff like this where it will just contradict itself. So yeah, I slide and look, now I can't slide again for some reason. And then it, it has like a cooldown. Never mind, I literally just can't slide again. You have to slide to toggle it. So yep. <laughs> oh boy. Thankfully, they don't stack, so we'll be able to slide next round, of course. When a player gets a headshot, lose 100 points. Yeah, see, now we can slide. So we don't want to get any headshots this round because otherwise, you know, point deficit. So just aim for the body and then just knife, I guess. Oh, here we go. Fucking astronauts here. What's up, bro? 
Get out of there, dude. God, the pistol is not doing work right now. Any year now. Jesus, there we go. When a zombie spawns, all zombies gain 10% of their max health. Oh my god, this round's going to be difficult then. Let's just go and buy the RK5 right now then. Because yeah, they'll be super strong by the end of this round. Look, one zombie spawning. Guy's probably... Yep, not even a one-hit knife with uh, a full burst of RK5. Oh my god, I still didn't even kill him. What, what the fuck? Jesus. Well, we can go for headshots now, at least. Yeah, these are like round 20 zombies at the moment. Jesus Christ. At least we can spam into them a bit with the uh, the 1911 and not risk killing them by accident, you know? Like, look, this isn't even going to knife it. Nope. <laughs> Jesus. At least Death Machine does infinite damage, I suppose. Next one. When a player takes damage, a random player is slightly moved. Okay, so what? You're just going to nudge me a little bit? Sure, dude. Go for it. I feel like no one ever camps on this side of the, uh, the spawn. I wonder if it's even decent to camp here. Because obviously everyone does over there because of the um, Simon Says thingy. But what about here? Can they slap you on the other side of this wall is the question. Oh, fucking astronaut just spawned in. I'm just looking forward to the uh, double points I'm inevitably going to get at the end of this round. Oh, here we go. Zombie on this side. So what happens? Are you going to slap me here? No, see, you have to go all the way around. So actually camping here with like... In theory, if we had a mod on that had like an Apothecan servant. You know, we could just sit here. Boom. High rounds. Easy peasy. Although... The fact that they run in the uh, anti-grav means they go very slowly, of course. Different things to factor in, of course, like for high rounds and shit. The time it takes being a main one. Insta-kill, okay. Well, I can't kill you anymore, we need fucking ammo. When a perk is purchased, all zombies gain 10% of their max health again. Okay. I've turned off repeat combos so we can only get original stuff, which is nice. Let's just go deal with this fucking astronaut real quick. Get the fuck out of here. I think at the end of this round, we'll start heading over to uh, wherever we're going. Good God, my aim. What was that, dude? <laughs> Just shot like five times and missed all of them. And now I'm out of ammo again already. Jesus, dude. I mean, we're going to open some doors anyway. Maybe I'll just open some more, see what we get. I think there's a cooter in this room, so we could pick that up. I'm just curious where the box is going to be. Yeah, there's the cooter. Uh, we'll open this to see what's around this corner. Any box? Nope, no box. Maybe it always spawns upstairs. Maybe I'm stupid. All right, this door, and then we'll buy whatever's in here, I guess. We've got double tap. Where is Veneer's gun? It's got to be one somewhere. Hello, gun. Gun anywhere? Is there really not a gun in this entire room? Are you serious? And then this door's a thousand. I mean, that would just screw us over then. I have to actually go back on myself. Oh, God. Oh, and here come the fucking Nova Crawlers. Jesus, that was close. Any wall buy in here? Come on, there's gotta be something. There's an Argus. Fuck it, dude. I'll get the Argus then. Better than nothing. Give the Argus some love. You know, it's not a bad gun. It's a decent shotgun. It's just the fact that the Brecci and the Haymaker can be, like, shot faster. Therefore, it's better on the maps that you use it, like, you know, for the Panzer. All right, there we go. Oh, and a nuke. Not bad. We're 60 points away from getting double tap. There's, like, no fucking barriers on this map. Oh, here we go. There's one. What's this? When a zombie dies to a grenade, five zombies spawn. I mean, that's kind of neat because you could manipulate it to, um get more points i guess at the same time though i'm i'm doing okay with an argus i think i'll i'll not spawn anymore oh a double, double points points. actually decent means we should be able to afford double tap and the next two rooms all right here we go double tap acquired oh fuck off nova crawler bastard oh fucking exploding oh and the box isn't here for once it's in the bio don't okay so it's not here every game then at least we know that when a power-up spawns, ability to aim down sights will toggle. Okay, I mean, you know, not the worst. Gotta love the moon skybox. The earth just looks so fucking cool. Then you got, I'm assuming that's the sun over there. Bloody hell, it's bright though. Now, I don't want to buy the cane again because, you know, we bought it last fucking game before it crashed. I want a little bit of variety in the guns, I suppose. I'm actually running out of ammo right now. Okay. Oh, hello. Get out of the way. Well, off we go. Almost landed on that fucking pad. Okay, box time. Hopefully we can get something decent. Dude, the camos look so sick in the biodome, actually. What are we going to get? Reagan Mark 2! What the fuck? What's the box luck being on Moon today? Got the Zap Gun, like, third hit. The Reagan Mark 2 first hit. What else are we going to get? Like, are we just going to get the, uh, the Zap Guns next? I mean, like, what, bro? Oh, no, the Pharaoh, of course. All right, well, let's head back outside, I suppose. Oh, hello, astronaut. You want to get fucking one-tapped, bro. One burst. Boom, gone. Nice and easy. Oh, hello, Nova Crawlers. Again, fuck off. When a zombie dies, wall buys are randomized. Not bad, not bad. They're going to be good for points, at least. I mean, everyone shits on the Pharaoh, but still, it's like, with all the attachments and stuff, it's not that bad as a gun. Better than a lot of, like, BO2, BO1 guns. 
If we didn't have attachments, then sure. Oh, there we go. Round over. When a zombie spawns, orientation slightly changed. Oh boy, that's going to be interesting. So every time a zombie spawns, it's going to make me look slightly like to the left or the right. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Just, I'm standing still right now. I'm not even moving. Jesus, that's going to be a bit annoying. So trying to shoot might be a bit of a challenge. Like, look, oh, I'm aiming at a zombie. Oh, no, it's just shifting me off to the fucking side. What is going on, bro? Ah, it's like I've got reverse aimbot. Come on, Reagan Mark II, save me. Oh, I can't fucking sh Dude, this is such a troll one. I kind of like it. All right, I think I've stopped spawning now. But, I mean, when I kill a few more, maybe it will spawn even more. Oh, no, must be down to the last few. A double points, nice. There we go. When a player earns 100 plus points. Oh, here we go with the max health, dude. I know, you want to make the zombies strong. I get it. The fact there's 600 combos, though, it's just so ridiculous. There's so many possibilities. I've, like, in all of these cause and effect videos, we haven't even scratched the surface. Like, there's so many more that I've just never had before. I think some are more common than others because I have noticed, that, like, I don't know, the max health ones or the perk ones. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but they do tend to pop up more. And then there's illegal combos as well as the regular ones. Like, these are illegal combos. Imagine if it was just the regular ones on top of this. Like, fucking hell. Also, I've got to say, the lighting on Moon, it can be a bit weird sometimes. Like, it, my gun looks so bright. But when I go over here and, like, turn around, the gun actually looks more red here, you know? But, it, but if you stand still, the shadow casts over the gun. It's weird. When a power-up spawns, spawn a random power-up. So this one's actually quite cool because it basically just means you duplicate your power-ups. Which, you know, I'm not going to complain about. So it means if we get a double points, we could get another double points. Or we could get, like, uh, a nuke. I guess we'll just wait and see. What's up, fucking dude? Bye-bye. <laughs> just waiting for a power-up to spawn. Tunnel 11's going to get fucked, but oh well, who cares? Tunnel 11's just meh. Isn't that the one when you need the Easter egg? I always kind of get confused and mix them all up, but... I think it might be. Any drops, dude. There we go. See, it gave us a death machine and a fire cell. We don't even have fire cells in the rotation yet because we haven't got a monkey bomb or, or a teddy bear. So, you know, words. I should have kept my death machine because ah, it's fine. We've got enough firepower. Oh, yeah, there we go. Max ammo and an insta kill. Not bad. And we got the FFAR back. Hell yeah. Well, let's reload before we actually go for this uh, max. Boom, spray them all down. Oh, we got Gersh devices. When a player earns 100 plus points, a random perk is gained. Okay, you know, again, don't mind if I do. We've got a Locus. I'll pass. Oh, hello. Oh, we get to see it crushing down. No, it's not Tunnel 11. It must be Tunnel 7, 6 or something. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there's a nuke. And we got 100 points there, so we got a free perk. Oh, and there's Widow's Wine. <laughs> So we throw down a Gersh device and just like watch as we, we get free perks. Oh, it's not getting more than enough points. That's the thing. Ah, I see. So we have to get just headshots. Yep, there's Deadshot. There's Speed Cola. There's Mule Kick. And is that all the perks? Wait, really? That's all the perks on the map? I could have sworn there was more. I guess there's no Electric Cherry on the BO1 maps. When a perk is purchased, a zombie spawns. I mean, a bit redundant now. You're just giving me them all. Also, I gotta say, Gersh devices have gotta be my favorite, like, equipment in all of COD Zombies. They're just so cool. And the, the fact that it makes the screen so, like, saturated and purple is just, ah. I mean, it's a literal black hole in your pocket. Can't really beat that, you know? And we got my beautiful FFAR back. You know, we lost the zap guns, but it is what it is. We can try and get it back, honestly. Fuck it, dude. We might as well. We have got Widow's Wine, so we've got to be a bit careful with um the fucking... The rooms, because if you get slapped with Widows, you just completely decompress the room, which sucks. But it's fine. Let's go for a couple spins then. We've got Mule Kick anyway, so whatever we get now, we get to have as a third. And we got the Vesper. Not bad. Not one of my favorite guns. It's not bad at all. It's just that it goes through ammo so fucking quick. Like, look. Oh, never mind. We got a max. I ignore what I'm saying. It spawns max ammos for you. It's godly. Oh my god, and we got the zap guns back, dude. There's no fucking way. I, they're on my mule kick slot. But what the fuck is this box luck, dude? Hell yeah. Exactly what I was hoping for. Honestly, I do strongly think that Moon is my favorite Zombies Chronicles map. Origins is just a bit like, I don't know, the BO2 version's better because you have more, like, fun glitches to do. Like, you know, the fire staff step where you have to put all the staffs in the, um, the fucking robots and it just takes ages to do. And in BO3, they patched that, so you have to actually do that step, which, like, you know, I get it, but you used to be able to cheat your way to, um, place the fire staff in four times, and it would just do it for you. All right, let's throw a Gersh down. Fuck it, why not? It's cool as hell. Zap you, didn't even get into the portal. Unlucky, bro. And we've got our beautiful microwave gun, hell yes. 
I'm looking forward to whatever the next Ultimate Zombies tournament, like, challenge is going to be. I'll have found out by the time this video goes up, I think, because they let us know on Sundays. But yeah, it's week three, and it's also going to be the comeback round, which is interesting. They're, like, both happening at the same time, which I don't necessarily mind, but, you know. The reason they did it is because they had time constraints, like, people are going back to uni by the time uh, Tuzd is going to finish. Otherwise, they would have added an extra week and had, like, a downtime week for the contestants, because, you know, they're going to end up skipping this week's challenge completely. Completely. So it is a little bit interesting, but it's fine. I'm looking forward to it, whatever it's going to be. The comeback round is going to be on the Rucked, so I'm not sure what the uh, week three challenge is going to be, because I got seventh in the last one. Oh, here we go. Headshot orientation slightly changes. Brilliant. I would be very surprised if one of them was not on Origins, you know? It's kind of just the go-to map. I'm also fully expecting there to be like a, a gauntlet or roulette map challenge where you have to go to different, like, maps. All right, Reagan Mark 2 to the face. Bye-bye. When a player earns 100 plus points, ability to jump will toggle. That's an interesting one. I mean, do we really need jumping that much? I just realized we could totally go and pack a punch. Oh, hello, insta-kill, just randomly sitting over here. Well, I'm earning over 100 with double points, and I'm still able to jump, so... Maybe if we go for a headshot? Yeah, I'm still, I can still jump. All right, let's finish off this round with the zap gun. Or should I say the wave gun? I keep calling it the zap gun, but that's just the variation that's like the two split pistols. Pew! Oh, didn't end the round. There's a couple more. Okay, zappy zappy time. Zap, 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 zap. I can't believe Futurama came back, by the way. I'm so glad. I'm gonna watch that new episode. There's gonna be a couple by now, actually. Really looking forward to watching the season again. When a power-up spawns, give a random gold gum. What's it gonna give me then, huh? You're gonna give me some fucking... Imagine it gives me a perkaholic and it's just totally useless. Okay, Gershi time. I'm gonna hold it for a second just so we can actually, uh... Wait for the zombies to spawn a bit more, and now throw it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you run into it, you can actually get teleported around the map, but it would be a bit risky right now. Especially if it teleports me face first into the excavator. I don't know if that can actually happen, but that'd be quite scary. Oh, we got self-med. What the fuck? I mean, it wasn't perkaholic, but it's pretty damn close. <laughs> That's so good. And we got a max. So, like, you know, win-win, really. Fuck it, dude. Gersh time. Whee! You so fucking cool. Yeah, like, I don't know how people can dislike Moon other than on Black Ops 1 with the Easter egg, like just the RNG that's needed. Because Moon is one of my favorite maps because of BO3 Chronicles, as I'm missing all my ray gun shots. You didn't see that, it's fine. When a player loses a thousand plus points, gain 10% of your total points. Okay, so like... What you're saying is, I mean, it's, I, there's no way for me to showcase it, but... Oh, never mind, here we go. If we buy the KN... Oh, it's the Kuda, whatever. Um, so... We gained 1,550 points. Ah, interesting. Probably because we have so many points right now. But if you had less, of course, that's going to be not as efficient. It's like reverse inflation, dude. Which, by the way, there's a mod called Inflation. I'm going to give that a try. Probably after I've recorded this. It sounds intriguing. My entire PC did fucking freeze when I installed it the first time. But, you know, we'll give it a try. I don't know why it froze. It just, like, I clicked on the subscribe on the workshop thing and it just, like, completely bricked. <laughs> I've, I've never really had that happen before. So hopefully it's nothing serious. But I had just turned my PC on and, like, I was opening a bunch of shit all at once, uh, including OBS. So maybe the memory just crashed. Probably more likely, you know. Opening too many things as administrator. When a player loses 300 plus points, ability to slide will toggle. Wait, self-medication doesn't even... It doesn't go down with rounds, it's just if you go down. That's OP as fuck. What the fuck, dude? Okay. Oh, and another random drop here. Hello, insta-kill again. <laughs> Why does it just keep spawning over there? I guess we'll get more Kuda ammo since we have insta. A max, don't mind if I do. Oh, and a, and a death machine. Just give me everything, bro. Since I'm including the round 10 attempt, what we're going to do is we're going to probably end this as soon as we beat round 20. Because otherwise we're going to be here for fucking ages. I mean, we've got all perks. We have a self-med. There's no way we're going down, dude. Let's at least go and pack a punch, I suppose. That's, that seems fair. Let's end this round first, though. There we go. There was one zombie. When a player slides, a zombie spawns. Oh boy. Well, that's uh, interesting. Yeah, off we go, dude. We can throw down a Gersh device, of course. Just uh, just for safety reasons. Pack a punch for zap guns. Pack a punch to Reagan Mark II. Oh god, hello, zombies. Fucking throw another one down quick. <laughs> Give me the ray gun. Oh, shit. What happens if we jump in it here? Oh, it teleports us across the Area 51. Interesting. Hello, Speed Cola. How's it going? We could actually take the helmet off so I can hear the zombies. Wow, what a concept. Ow, fucking widow's bitch. 
Ow, stop it. It's a good way to get a shitload of points. We also got Rick Poppin, my favorite. Well, that's a good way to go through Kuda ammo really quick. Holy shit. And now we're onto the Regan. Yeah, we'll just go until we run completely out of ammo, I think. That's a good way to do it. For another Gersh, why not? Do our little last stand kind of thing. Hello, dog. How's it going? It's so cool they added the Regan Mark II to all the Chronicles maps. I can really appreciate that. Because other than that, like, you know, it was in BO2 Origins. It was in BO2 Buried. I guess, yes, it was in all the other maps as well once Buried released. But, you know, in terms of, like, when the maps came out. Very, very cool, dude. I really hope that the next Treyarch Zombies game can at least be, like, a glimmer of similarity to BO3. I wanted to have modding capabilities because, you know, it's been almost a decade since BO3 came out, which is just crazy to think about, but it would be so cool. I just wanted to have the fun aspects. Like, I wanted to bring Gobblegums back in a sense, or even Supply Drops. I mean, like, I know people weren't a fan of it, but it's much better than what we have now, let's be honest. I want the game to just be completely free, which is never going to happen, but... I want it to be free and just get constant updates. That would be the ideal way to go about it. Like, kind of like Call of Duty Online, which is, in my opinion, the best COD to ever release. Overall, like in terms of all game modes, just by far it was just the best. All right, here we go. Last couple. We've only got our zap guns now. If we use the wave gun, it's going to take fucking ages. I forgot, when you kill dogs with the zap gun, they don't actually explode. I always wondered if there was some kind of lore implication to that, because it, like, I don't know, you know, how the dogs got experimented on? Like, look, I'll show you. Let me, uh, shoot it. Fucking, come on, dog. Oh, no, it exploded, damn it. <laughs> Fucking widow's wine. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, it's so loud, though. And just switch to the wave gun. Pew. Oh, it doesn't use the same ammo. For some reason, I thought it used the exact same ammo. Pew, 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 pew. Zap, zap. Oh my god, what happened to that zombie? He just like froze for a second, you see that? Alright, microwave time. Phew. Oh, it's so disgusting. They Look how big they get, dude! Ugh, ugh. It's so gross. Still cool as fuck. You don't get any drops here, so... Oh yeah, when a player slides, a zombie spawns. So, just spawn in a few more. How's it going, dude? Not like it matters, because they infinitely spawn here anyway. <laughs> oh, here we go. Come on, zap the fucking dog. There we go. See, it doesn't explode. You spam the fuck. Ah, oh my god, dude. My ears. Well, now we only have the wave gun. The Max wave gun. I don't know why it's called the Max. Like, is that supposed to be a reference to Maxis or or what? Or, or is it just because it's maxed out? Because the Zap guns are called the Porters times two Zap guns. So... Absolutely plowing through these... Uh, I was going to say rounds, but you know. <laughs> rounds don't progress when you're in here. I just love the ding sound when they explode as well. It's just like, oh, the microwave's ready. It's <laughs> so goofy. Gordon Ramsay would not be a fan of this gun, though. All right, we're down to our last two shots. That's one. We'll build up a full horde for this last one. All right, here we go. This is all of them. And kaboom. And now we're out of ammo. <laughs> and now we are screwed. So I guess we'll just end because... Gotta keep the flawless downs, of course. 964 kills. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out this video on screen. YouTube says you might like it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.